Getting you ready to try a whole milling test. The, uh, this is one of the things I've been putting off uh, for the part that I'm working on. I did the outside profile of the parts okay. And now I'm going to have to mill a hole. I have to mill a hole in it. So the test is going to actually have uh, three different tools and four different parts to it. The first thing I'm going to do is spot drill six holes. Second thing I'm going to do is drill to full diameter the same six holes, and then I'm going to use a uh, the same end mill that I used to do the profile of the parts. I'm going to use that uh, end mill to uh, mill the hole to size. That's actually going to happen in two steps. The first step will be uh, a helical entry, uh, and then that will be followed by a full depth of cut uh, finish pass. The first one, the first parameter that I'm testing is going to be the um, uh, the angle, the ramp angle on the helical entry. I have uh, the holes are going to be laid out three here and then three here. The these holes uh, will be set at, at angle three, uh, helical entry angle three degrees, four degrees, five degrees. Same with this, three degrees, four degrees, five degrees. The difference between the two is going to be feed rate. This is set at 37 and a half inches per minute. This is this this row is set at 37 and a half inches per minute. This row of holes will be at 45 and a, and a half or 45 inches per minute, if I remember right. The uh, next thing I'm going to test is the uh, the finish cut how deep that needs to be. Uh, from what I've found so far, uh, my uh, passes uh, with the cutter at the nominal dimension, I'm left with about half a thou extra of material on there. But on this profile, I'll, I'll uh, cut half a thou extra, uh, and then I'm, I'm going to cut 800, sorry, 8 tenths of a thousandth uh, extra on this one. Reduce the feed rate from 2.1 inches a minute to 1.05, so cut it in half. We'll see how it makes it through this initially challenging area here. Holes are supposed to go all the way through. So the roughing of the holes is done now. I've measured uh, the diameters of each to make some comparisons later. Now I'm ready to do the uh, roughing operation or the hole finishing operation here. <laughs> 